So what are grommets and eyelets? And how do you get them in the fabric? It's pretty easy. I'll show you how. Coming up. Hey, Chanel here bringing you weekly videos to help you get better and better with your fashion sewing and be more creative too. So be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss out on a new video. So a really fun way to jazz up your sewing projects is to use eyelets or grommets. And this is one of my old jackets. I still have it. I can't get rid of it. I love it. It's, it's a leather. Um, I don't even, I'm not sure it fits anymore, but I should do something with it anyway. Uh, right here we have eyelets. What's an eyelet? What's a grommet? Um, a grommet is wider ones. I'll show you what that is. And uh, actually right here, a grommet is um, bigger, <laughs> but this one's kind of like is it an eyelet or a grommet? I'm not really sure. But the eyelets are these little tiny ones right here. And then the grommets are bigger ones. And the grommets can actually get much bigger. But a really fun way to dress up um, your clothes are to put eyelets or grommets. I just have another old jacket. These are all, these are considered grommets. They're bigger ones. Although they're kind of that same size. But <laughs> um, this one was all over the jacket. And this is a suede. And, uh, oh my gosh, it's even on the sleeves. This was crazy hard to make. I would, I would die. <laughs> I wouldn't want to make that. Anyway, and then I found, I was looking through my closet to find, um, I have a closet, uh, older stuff in it. And um, um, I even found it on this other jacket. These are things I had in my old movies. And um, there's like little grommets, like there's a zipper and there, there's, no reason for these <laughs> they're just kind of here and they just are a great design so um, a lot of times there's a reason for them it actually cinches them in actually I found this corset pattern and um, that's kind of how they used to cinch things in before the zipper was invented by Eli Howe I think that was it in the 1850s don't quote me on that but I'm somewhere around there <laughs> he invented the zipper but before that they used uh, eyelets and grommets to cinch in um, and torture yourself while you're wearing clothes. So, not a good thing. Um, so those are um, there. I, now I did it. I, I was looking for my old eyelet things. I knew I had some around, and I did this movie. I do costume design for the movies, and um, it was an old movie I did. It's now called Nanny, Nanny Insanity, and we had this crazy lady who dressed wacky and um, she dressed so we dressed her in she was doing a leather and lace outfit and I did um, all these eyelets on the side of her pleather skirt and um, and we just cinched it we cinched it all up with metallic I think we did it on both sides and then we had the baby's outfit because like she was the nanny and she dressed um, the baby <laughs> up in her her outfits and then we did the dog so then um, so the joke is the husband and wife come home and their nanny has dressed up their their beloveds and the fur babies and their babies <laughs> and, and, uh, just like her and I can't remember if I did I don't know if I did grommets on there but there's some grommets on this little baby outfit I actually put that together really fast I uh, um, just kind of I'll show you how it's, uh, that's why you're here <laughs> so I'm going to show you how to um, simply and easily put these together. So um, these are some packages that you buy. This is, says fashion grommets, and this is a fashion grommet kit. So the difference with the kit is it has um, this in it, these right here, and that's how you put them on. And then you need a hammer and a floor, so you can't put it on your sewing table because for some reason it just needs a real hard surface to get it in there. And then there's also like this little tool that um, is for the smaller ones and I don't know if I lost a backing to it or what or but I think I'm gonna be able to fit it on that one because this is like this lays under and then you hammer the um, like edge right here and you hit the hammer right here and it squishes the, the metal down this is what these look like um, out of the package so they're kind of sharp right here not 
so sharp that I hurt myself, but it actually gets squashed in there. And then this package right here actually comes with a washer. So it's like a little plastic thing and you put it, you put the fabric on it, then you put that over it. And then there's this lid part that comes down. Oops, there it goes. And it goes over it and then you smash those all together. I'm gonna show you how to do that. Um, get the camera on the floor and I'll show you. Then there's these little eyelets like these and um, these get put on with a tool like this and they actually go on here and then you just crunch it down like that with fabric in between it and um, so those are pretty easy this is a nice medium um, grommet or eyelet it kind of we call it in the middle grommeliet I don't know <laughs> um, and there is um, I found these I don't even know where I got these, um, but it looks like there's two parts to these two. And um, I actually don't know where I got these, but I don't have the, the right thing. But I found out you can actually use this also for, for that one. Oh, keep dropping everything. But <laughs> you, you uh, put it in there and just squish it down between the layers of the fabric. So um, also, if you're uh, too lazy like me to do that you can also find these cool trims and you can actually sew these on to your fabric and then you have your eyelets in there so that's pretty cool so if you're doing a corset maybe in a bit as long as it matches right you can sew them right in there and then i found this right here now this i'm not sure um you can make it work but i don't know how those will go in there so i bought it it was on clearance, $3. It was on clearance because people were like, I don't know how to use this. I don't know what it's for. It's, it was really just a decorative trim, but you can make it functional. So um, I'm going to show you how to put in an eyelet. Those are easier, and then the grommets. All right, let's uh, start with these little eyelets. Those are the easier ones to do. So if you had a, just a piece of fabric here. Um, I interfaced, um, I put an interfacing on the back because I think it gives a little more security because these you don't get them in there right they they really do fall out um, kind of quickly uh, there's a just a lightweight trico type interfacing um, even if, or just if it's pellon just really lightweight will will work it depends on your your fabric if you're doing a heavier one you go a little heavier fabric or a little interfacing um, so what we do first is I like to put a you can actually put these on without um, putting a hole in it first, but it actually doesn't stay well. So I got like this little awl that is good. So let's say we needed to put that, the eyelet right, you know, wherever in there, you get, you get the hole started. If you don't have it, you can actually get little clippers and then make just the tiniest little hole like this, just, just like the awl size right there. So just tiny. Um, and actually then what you do is you put your, eyelet, actually I'm going to use this white one first, put this white one through the hole right there, you can kind of get it started. Um, actually I'm wondering, you want it so tiny, you want it to kind of just stretch over it. This almost went in there a little bit easier, but I'll put it, if it goes in too easy that means the hole's a little too big. And then right here on this um, tool right here, it has a little prong in there and you get your, I probably shouldn't have done it all the way up there, Get that through the hole right there and then you just simply press you just put it down there and it lines up and there is your eyelet Ta -da! so for the big grommets you're going to start with the you need a fashion grommet kit and it includes this piece here in it and then this piece that is what makes up the kit. Once you buy the one, you don't need any more. You just need the refills, and these are the refills. There's like eight sets in there, and it has the backing, the washer, and then the grommet itself. So um, what I'm going to do is put this uh, grommet into the fabric here, and um, I'll, oh, I forgot to show you. On the back of the kit is the directions. So we have a hammer, uh, this tool, and then uh, one of the, I think the backing here, then the washer, then the fabric, then the eyelid itself and it's, or the, the grommet, and it's showed backwards like this, and then the tool here. So basically this goes on the back of um, 
that right there. It keeps it from crushing it. And then you put your fabric over it. So first we gotta make, definitely make a hole that's not as big as this, but it has to stretch over that. So we'll just start with a little clip. Like so, and then go like in a sun rays, kind of make little clips around to create a little hole. And you wanna just be, um, start small, and if you have to get it bigger, it's better, but you can see it's like a little sun ray there. And then you, this has to go on the right side of the fabric, and you just push it through like this. See, it's a little tight. I might need to, you want it on the tight side so that it, you don't get a hole, but it worked, okay. Now you can kind of see how there's the little fabric legs right there. <laughs> and then you would put this right here, put it on the table, a sturdy, the floor is good. Um, and then you're gonna put the washer on top of that right there. And if you can get the fabric, it's not really gonna, not gonna, I don't know if the fabric will, the fabric will get crushed under it. Then you put the top under it and there's the grooved edge goes onto the fabric here. Then this comes in and then you put it over here. It has a groove and then you hit this like, like that and then it crushes in. I'm actually going to put this on the floor real quick, hit it a few times and uh, <laughs> there we go. Ooh, that sounded funny. <laughs> now, it crushes this part here, and there is your grommet right in there, really secure. These have been, these have worked really well. And um, there you go. We use this on um, this pattern here, and then we put a little shoelace in there, so that looks really great on denim. And um, this, they also come in silver and black, and I think gold also, so you can also get different colors. So that is how you put those bigger grommets on. And then we have um, this other littler one here. I don't have the backing to it, but I want to see if I can actually get that in there using that tool. Um, there's probably a little bottom part that it would work. And then you have a hole there. This is it's hard to even tell the top of these. I'm thinking it's this one. Push it through here. And then I'm just going to use this. It doesn't quite fit on there. And then I put the, there's not a washer there, but it's the bottom part here. And that fits pretty snug over there. And I do have this part of the tool. And then we can go here, see if this is like that. Yep, crushed it pretty well. Oh my gosh, it totally crushed everything. <laughs> and that's because this was, uh, it's not, <laughs> hey, that's a new design. That's kind of cool, actually. Let me see. Crush it. Oh, my gosh. It actually is kind of cool. I, now I have to match all the other ones. No. <laughs> hey, that kind of worked. Oh, my gosh. But if I had the right size of this one, they, it simply works the same, but um, the, it got caught in there. So interesting. I kind of like that. That would be a different take on an eyelid. <laughs> anyway, so that's how you put grommets in. Well, there you have it. That's how you do a grommet. Go get yourself a grommet kit. Make sure you got a good hammer. <laughs> and if you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in the next SoBit.